Just before 2 o'clock this morning, law enforcement officers in Stang Creek received information of a low-flying aircraft in the Kanantik area. When officers arrived at the area, they found this single-engine aircraft, believed to have a Cessna 210 Centurion, destroyed by fire. The burnt drug plane was found at the end of the Kanantik airstrip, some four miles southeast of Santa Cruz Village. The pilot was missing. Evidence was burnt. The cargo, believed to be bales of cocaine, was removed. Hours before the drug plane landing, activities in the area increased. Speeding boats were heard and it's believed that the cargo was transported via the sea. Camera Max works in the area and he heard the activities last night. During last night, around 9, between 9 o'clock up to when um, that plane did land at the airstrip, there was like um, boats up and down on the sea. You, well, we never, we actually never seen no boats where you could hear the sounds of engines on the waters. Right to, at that time, heavy rain was happening as well and the sea was rough. And then the other, around 1, one thirty, so, the boats, you know, up and down and then this guy from Canantic, a security from Canantic also called me, but I missed his call. Then from there, when I woke up now, the plane was making noise and... But what time was it? That was around 2. Two in the morning, so mm -hmm. then um, these guys uh, that sleep here, they they heard the boat as well, and they came outside and they just hear the boats up and down the sea. But um, we never saw no lights, no nothing on the sea. Then around um, minutes to four, the police came in. The mobile team they were um, doing their random checks, I believe. It's not like a small engine plane. And then we just had a boat set up and now they moved on the sea. So they, you, you said they were going south and then going north? Yes. In the sea? Mm hmm. Did they have any lights? Sir? No, no lights on. And it's not like more than one boat? Yes, it is. More than one engine? Uh -huh. no, it's one boat. More than, more than one boat? Yes, more than one boat. It was a carefully and well-planned nefarious operation. The narco-traffickers were quick, but police's response was late. The drug plane landing was successfully executed. A brave move after just days ago, several persons, including police officers, were arrested for another drug plane landing. That time, the cocaine was seized. This time, the cocaine was quickly whisked away. Police Commissioner Chester William is currently attending the 9th Interpol General Assembly in Istanbul, Turkey. He says that drug plane landings aren't unique to Belize, and it was one of the discussions had. One of the things that was discussed is the difficulty in curbing the landings, um, in the sense that the drug cartels have expanded themselves across the globe, primarily within the Central American and South American region. And so, yes, while the different police organizations and military in some cases have done a lot and continue to do a lot to deter these planes from landing, it continues to be a major challenge even for the most developed countries within the region. But again, in Belize, we still continue to do our best despite the limited resources. And I did have a sit down with um, my counterpart from Colombia and Honduras. And we have some of the same issues in the sense that um, these Cartels would normally look at um, practically any open space where they can land a plane um, just with a view to ensure that they get their cargo wherever they want it to go. This time the cargo was suspected to have been loaded on boats, presumably on its way to the great US of A. Drug plane landings have become more frequent in the recent years. And while the Belize Police Department does what it can to deter these illicit landings, narco traffickers are determined to see that cocaine makes its way up north. It is difficult, especially for countries like ours, where we have a huge landmass that is unoccupied. Um, it do um, give the, 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 the latitude for them to be able to land these planes in different areas. But we have to do what we can to, to curb it still. Um, I don't think that Belizeans want to hear any excuse, even though it's not excuse, the matter of the reality, and we must face the reality. But as a law enforcement agency working in tangent with the military and the Coast Guard in Belize, we will continue to do our utmost best to deter these landings. We have been working with the Mexican authorities, um, and in some instances, the Guatemalan, to see how 
they can assist us with their air assets to be able to trap these planes as they come into the country. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.